Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to have a Make Pretties, that is my series of recreating celebrities makeup and today we have Lily Collins. A lot of people don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup makeup reviews, makeup tips, makeup tutorials. And today I'm going to be recreating this makeup in here. It's the makeup that Lily Collins wear in one of the red carpets of Vanity Fair. So first I wanted to tell you why I decided to do this makeup today. I just finished uh, Emily in Paris, the second season. And I think that Lily Collins is so beautiful. Like all of the um, looks and all of that that she has on the series even though some of them are a little extravagant <laughs> but I decided to like go on the internet and search for some of the looks that she had uh, makeup looks and I found this one that I thought that it was very beautiful uh, I think that it's like very simple even though it has an eyeliner that it's opened in the photo it seems like one of the eyeliners is more up and the other is more down uh, maybe it's because of the photo, I don't know, but I decided to throw this one because I really love makeup. I think that it's like very simple. It has a beautiful skin, uh, eyeliner and also a red lip. So I decided to go for this one. First, I already applied my Embryolis and also my sunscreen. So we are going to pass to the rest of the makeup. For foundation I'm going to use this one by Tarte, that it's the face tape. I'm still trying this one, seeing if I like it or if I don't. I'm still trying to understand what I think about it. So the color that I have on this foundation, it's the 22N Light Neutral. I think that it's a good color for me to wear now on the winter that I'm a little bit lighter it's like very similar to to my skin to my color skin right now so I decided to choose this foundation because I'm still trying it but also because I think that our skin is very flawless I don't think that it has too much coverage but it looks very flawless and I think that this one is a medium to full coverage foundation so I think that it works very well with the makeup that she has. Concealer I'm going to use this one that it's the Born This Way the multi-use sculpting concealer. My skin now is a little bit dry on my eyes on my other eyes very dry and this one is the one it's one of the ones that works with me on this time. Cover all of my dark under eyes that are a little bit big because I have been not sleeping too much. I had exams on college. I can't sleep too much <laughs> because I wake up early like um, feeling anxious about the exam. So normally it's like 6 a.m. and I'm already up. My concealer it's in the color light beige. For powder I'm going to use this one by Fenty in the color lavender. This one is to fix the makeup on place. I'm not going to put too much powder. For bronzer I'm going to use this one by Glowish. I decided to pick this one because I feel like she has a very natural contour. So I think that this one is going to help me with that. I'm not going to do something strong, just something more natural. The thing that I see that she has more contour is in here, but it's something so natural. Like in the rest of the face I almost feel like she doesn't have anything. For blush I'm going to use this one by Kylie in the color Crush because I feel like she has a very natural blush as well and this one like it's not too pink or too orange or too anything like that it's a very natural blush and I think that this one is going to work in here on this look 
as a lighter I'm going to use this one by Tarte the exposed because like I can't really see um, the highlighter that she has but like in terms of color she's using black and gold so I'm feeling like probably is a gold highlighter for eyebrows I'm going to use this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills that is the deep brow pomade the color that I use it's the dark brown I decided to use this product because I feel like her eyebrows look very um, powerful, very full. Like she has a good eyebrow, similar to mine. They are very thick. Now let's pass to the eyeliner. I'm going to use the one by Inglot. So, I think that they are not exactly the same, but this one looks to me that it's a little bit more open than this one, but like it's the first time that I'm doing this. So, I think that it turned out good, not perfect, but the next time probably going to be. But I think that it's looking good, at least I like it. Now let's pass the mascara. I'm going to use this one by L'Oreal the lash paradise i'm going to just put mascara because i feel like she doesn't have anything more it doesn't look like she has false lashes or anything So now let's pass to the lips. First I'm going to overline my lips with this NYX Sweet Matte Lip Liner in the color Spicy. Now I'm going to pick this one in here, it's from Sephora in the color M11 and now picking this one by Kiku in the color 105 I decided to like combine all of these lipsticks because I feel like she has some colors on the lips they, I think that she has several red on the lips, so I decided to combine this. This one was more to overline the lips and everything, and these two were more to like give the color that she has. Just finish everything, I'm going to pick my MAC Fix Plus, and the makeup is done. I think that it looks pretty similar to what she has. We have the red lip, the um, beautiful skin, and the eyeliner, even though as I told you, is not exactly the same one side and the other, but I think that it's looking very beautiful. I don't know which one is better. Maybe this one. Like this one was the first that I did, this is the second, so the second time was better <laughs> for me to, to do. But I think that it's looking good. What do you think about the look? Did you like the look that I chose today? I think that it's a beautiful one, but tell me down there in the comments area what you thought about the look, if it's similar to what Lily has, and if you like it, tell me down there in the comments area. But I think that's it, that's the video. Uh, if you like this one and if you want to be part of my community here on YouTube and don't want to miss any of my other videos that I post regularly, <laughs> don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload a new video. If you like this one, don't forget to also click on the thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use, so you can go there and follow me as well. So that's it. I really hope that you like this one, that you had a good time in here with me today. 
Thank you so much for watching it until the end and now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!